On admission, a patient weighs 250 pounds. The weight is recorded as 256 pounds on the second inpatient day. The nurse should evaluate the patient for A, fluid retention, B, fluid loss, C, decreased nutritional reserves, or D, anorexia. So again, assessment is such an important piece of our job. What are we going to assess this patient for? So the correct answer is A, fluid retention. So 250 to 256, we know they gained six pounds in a 24-hour period. Um, any more than five pounds in a 24-hour period is going to be related to a fluid retention problems. Um, a downward, a downward trend um, would indicate a reduction in nutritional reserves that may be caused by decreased intake, which would which would be an anorexia or decrease nutritional levels but because we're going up the only logical one that makes sense there is fluid retention the rest of those ones would cause the weight to decrease the patient is a 50 year old african-american male who has come in for his routine annual physical which of the following preventative screenings does the nurse recommend a digital rectal examination of the prostate annually b CA-125 blood test once a year, C, complete an eye examination every year, or D, a colonoscopy every three years. Okay, so for this one, uh, the correct answer is A, a digital rectal examination of the prostate um, annually. So men need to have their prostate checked beginning, beginning at age 50. Um, the CA-125 blood test, those are going to be for women who are indicated for high risk of ovarian cancer. So that's what that is for. Um, people who are 65 or older that then were really worried about their vision, um, for like glaucoma or, or so. So that's, that would be for them. And then, um, every 10 years um if you're over 50 years old then that's when you get your colonoscopy so colonoscopy every 10 years when you're 65 then you're going to get yearly eye exams and then the answer b is for ovarian cancer and a is for male prostates over the age of 50 and that's going to be annually all right, our another next question here is an advanced practice nurse preparing to assess an external genitalia of a 25 year old American woman of Chinese descent. Which of the following nursing actions does the nurse do first? A, place the patient in a lithotomy position. B, drape the position to enhance patient comfort. C, assess the patient's feelings and explain the purpose of the examination. And D, ask the patient if we should, would like her mother to be present in the room during the examination. So the correct answer on this one is going to be C, assess the patient's feeling and explain the purpose of the examination. So sometimes uh, people, especially Chinese American, often believe that the examination of the external genitalia can be offensive. And so they need to know why we're doing it. Um, so you want to always explain that procedure to them and make sure they're comfortable with whatever provider is going to be doing that. Um, and then you want to provide your privacy and then put them in the correct position. Um, typically, someone who's 25 years old is not going to have a mother in the room. In fact, the mother's probably not even going to be around during that time. If they're an adolescent, then yes, absolutely, the parent should be in the room. But in this case, they're 25 and they're not an adolescent. During a school physical examination, the nurse reviews the patient's current medical history. With a positive medical history of asthma, ischemia and allergic rhinitis, the nurse expects which of the physical findings on the nasal examination? A, a polyp, B, yellow discharge, C, pale nasal mucosa, D, puffiness of the nasal mucosa. The answer on this one is C, pale nasal mucosa. So pale nasal mucosa with cure with clear mucoid discharge indicates that uh, allergic rhinitis. Um, polyps are tumor-like growth, so we're not going to expect to find those. Um, yellow discharge would be seen in an infection. We don't we don't expect an infection with this patient. Um, and then habitual use of intral nasal cocaine and or opioids can cause that puffiness of the nasal mucosa. So again, the correct answer on this one with the information provided is C, pale nasal mucosa.
Objective physical data describes air moving through small airways over the lungs periphery. The expected inspiratory to expiratory phase of this normal vesicular breath sound is which of the following? The inspiratory phase lasts exactly as long as the expiratory phase. B, the expiration phase is longer than the inspiration phase. C, the expiration phase is two times longer than the inspiration phase. Or D, the inspiratory phase is three times longer than the expiratory phase. So think about the breaths going through. Correct answer is D. The, the inspiratory phase is three times longer than the expiratory phase. Um, breath sounds are normal breath sounds. The inspiratory phase is going to be, again, three times longer than the expiratory phase. Um, a teen female patient reports intermittent abdominal pain for 12 hours. No dysuria is present. When performing an abdominal assessment, the nurse should A. Recommend that the patient take more laxatives. B. Ask the patient about the color of her stools. C. Avoid sexual references such as possible pregnancy or D. Assess the first assess the first the spots that are most tender. Okay, so your correct answer on this one is going to be B. Ask the patient about the color of her stools. Okay, so if we evaluate these, um, recommend that the patient takes more laxatives. So taking a lot of laxative, there's dangers in that. So that's not something we'd recommend to the patient. So we can rule out A. C, avoid sexual references such as possible pregnancy. Pregnancy definitely happens. Um, and so we need to determine if this patient is pregnant or not. So we wouldn't avoid that. We would ask the patient or have a pregnancy test done. D, assess the first, the spots that are most tender. Um, when we're assessing them, we're going to assess the spots that are less tender first and those spots that are going to be more tender, we're going to save those for last. So that one's also incorrect. So the only correct one is going to be B.